Hello there, wonderful humans. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the AI powered version of my ultimate course creator template. Inside this template are a couple chat GPT prompts, which basically do what I was charging people thousands of dollars for. This process would normally take me weeks, if not months of course design, just to get something to the first draft version. Now, what ChatGPT outputs is not perfect, but it is saving me weeks of time to create an initial course idea. Let's say you want to create a course about marketing funnels and you want to help people bring more traffic to their personal brand websites. I'm going to walk through a demo of how I would use these prompts to get the first draft of this course done in hours and save you potentially weeks of time just to get those core ideas, concepts, and frameworks out. And then you could start to weave your frameworks, your branding, your special concepts and images all over this so that you can build courses quicker and faster and deliver that to your audience. I hope this is helpful. And if you want to find out more, go to the comment section below for the download. Okay, if you look at the new template, you'll notice that there is a sparkle emoji. And now everyone who's building an AI something or something needs to have a sparkle emoji. Got that, tick, great, sparkle emoji. Next thing, need you to know about the anatomy of an online course. Basically, you have four levels. You have the whole course level, which is the before and after transformation of the whole course. Then you have module level, which is if it's broken down into three parts or five parts or a hundred parts, the lesson level, and then the content level. So these are the four levels that you have to be aware of as you design your course and the content stacks to become the lesson. The lesson has to deliver a part of the module transformation and the module transformations have to stack together into sequence to deliver the whole course transformation. So that's what you have to think about as you're designing things. Cool. The first thing to do is really brain dump all of the previous material that you want to have in this course. All of these worksheets and notes and images that you've been using in your previous work, just leave that here. Next step is to figure out your learner transformation and course objectives. So this is a little bit of thinking to get you used to like, what is your learner's context? What's going on in their lives? Do some empathy mapping. There's a really cool learning experience design canvas I made in Miro, you could go and use that. But really we're trying to get you to the course learning objective. This is what you need to do. In here, there's some examples of course objectives. Here's the one that we're going to use for the rest of this example. Given the tools, templates, and strategies presented in the course, students will be able to design and implement a marketing funnel for their personal brand to professional standards of achievement as demonstrated by creating a complete funnel blueprint and successfully driving traffic through each stage. Imagine that I wrote that in this template that I've given you here. I'm actually then going to take this into 1.3. And here you'll see our first ChatGPT prompt. ChatGPT is being given the course levels that it has to design for as context, then all you're going to do is replace the learning objective with what you made in section 1.2. And voila. I then need to define how many modules I want. So do I want there to be six modules? Do I want there to be three modules? I'm going to pick three. You can pick however many you want. What this is doing down here is basically mapping the transformations in each module and saying, hey, this is the learner's state before, and this is what we expect their state to be like after this module. Great, I'm gonna copy this across from Notion into ChatGPT, and you might have to remove these A-side brackets. These are basically from Notion for styling, but you just wanna delete those, and then you wanna change your name and say, I am the founder of Marketing Funnel Guru. Great. I want to create this course, think about these levels, blah, 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 blah. You do all these amazing things. There's my course learning objective and it has three modules. As you can see, ChatGPT is busy working on the transformations before and after. We're going from unclear about the structure and purpose of marketing funnels to understanding the foundational elements, all the way to being unsure how to incorporate that into their funnel and then actually being able to implement that into their personal branding and get some results. So these are all stacking to achieve this top level outcome. Next, I would grab all of the text from here and paste it into Notion. And that will give me my before and after transformations to help me think through the names and how I'm gonna communicate the transformation in each module. Next, I'm gonna grab this text here and paste that into ChatGPT. Here, there actually isn't much that you need to change. You just need to remove these A-side brackets. 
And essentially what this is doing is now creating a glossary of key concepts, skills, and frameworks that you need to bundle into various lessons. This is sort of high level thinking I used to get experts to do and say, look, just write every concept, write every skill, write every framework that you're known for and add it into your courses. So this is where you can start to put in your different frameworks and ideas into the mix. What I would do now is actually grab each of these and then start putting them into a new card in Notion. So for example, this AIDA framework, the ADA framework, I would copy that across, create a new card, call it AIDA, paste that in there. Just so there's a definition of what this is. You can use this for glossaries so your learners can find out about specific topics, but really having ChatGPT know about all the different concepts you wanna teach is really essential for the next part. So if you have a big idea or a framework, define it here and copy it into ChatGPT and say, include this in the glossary. Nice, so as you can see here, ChatGPT has gone through all the different modules and thought about, hey, these are all the key concepts you're gonna to need to introduce to get that transformation. Here's the key skills and here's some frameworks that you need to think about. Lovely, this would have already taken me weeks at this point and it's just taken me minutes. Next, I'm gonna grab this, which is the lesson level. So the ultimate end goal of this is for me to have a list of lessons here in my curriculum. And this is going to have the content of the lesson, like the script that I'm gonna speak into the video and that I can start to layer instructional stuff and images and videos over the top so that it can be more transformative than just my talking head. Right here, you want to actually make some changes. First, you're going to need to change the structure of the lesson. I've used this basic template, which I find to be very effective but you might not want to have theory and then practice in your lessons. That's just something I do. If you want there to be more storytelling, if you want there to be case studies, you might need to add another section in here so that ChatGPT will know what the structure of each lesson looks like if it's similar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste that. And this again will save me weeks of work. Paste that into there, delete the brackets. And I'm actually going to leave this undefined. You can actually define if you want five lessons in total in each module or you can say you know somewhere between two to six and then let ChatGPT decide that so the other smart thing that's going on here is that i've added these nine events of instruction so that ChatGPT knows what to factor in and how to deliver good instruction so if we press send that's going to start the first lesson of module one it will then pause and then ask me if the style and quality are correct and then i can say do lesson two. So this is just gonna move through all of the different lessons and at least get the draft version ready so that I can start adding my tone, style, and flair. And if I want, I can even just change the tone, the style, and the flair by adding something in here saying like, write in a comical tone of voice or change comical for professional tone of voice. As you can see here, ChatGPT's told me what the lesson name is. It's telling me what module this is inside. It's also then writing a hook to gain the learner's attention and telling me that it's using event one. It's then introducing the lesson and the learning objective. So giving the learner a clear picture of what's gonna happen next. It's then defining the concepts. It's making it relevant to their knowledge and giving them some analogies to think through. And then finally, it's going into a practical exercise and a summary. Great, so it says, please let me know if you're ready, if you're satisfied. I'll proceed with the subsequent lessons. I don't need it to do that. What I would do next is copy all of this and I would paste it into here. Inside there is a great template you can use called new lesson template. This basically has some more checkboxes and frameworks for you to think through how you're going to deliver this. I'm gonna paste that into script and then I'm going to actually ask ChatGPT to say, hey, remove all the structural text and rewrite this for my teleprompter. And this will basically give me a version of the copy which has all of that stuff removed. And this is literally what I will see on the teleprompter. I can read it out without all of the different events and structural stuff that it needs to know. Great, so we got to the lesson level and now we wanna to get to the content level. Let's say that I want to actually create some content for this. I'm going to have to make some Figma templates. I'm going to have to make some designs in Canva so people can understand like what a funnel is and the shape of it and all these kinds of things. I can also generate the A-roll for this using a tool I love called Eleven Labs. Now Eleven Labs have been very generous in getting a pro voice for me to synthesize this text from 
ChatGPT and turn it into my voice. And I'm gonna give you a quick glimpse into what that looks like. So I'm just gonna grab this text here. Let's put that in and hit generate. Imagine trying to pour water, representing customers. And I hope you can hear this, but that's this is me as an AI using voice. Most of the water spills out, but with a funnel, every drop is directed and captured, demonstrating the power of a marketing funnel for your brand. In today's lesson, we'll uncover the magic behind marketing funnels. Cool. It's kind of like my voice. It's very British, but it's pretty good for an AI voice generator. So you can see how you can build courses really quickly using AI now. That was literally from idea to spoken voice in less than 12 minutes. And I'm going to just keep going and make all the different lessons and ask ChatGPT to go backwards and forwards and work with it, basically crafting the first draft of this. When you're finally done, you can create the course title. And this is kind of hard for some people. They don't really know what to call their courses. So I made a prompt for it. Again, you remove those little brackets. And then what you're going to get is some brainstormed ideas for your course name. And then you can kind of workshop those to have something to put all over the landing pages. In following videos, I'm going to show you how to make landing pages using AI. That means you can actually build a funnel towards your new offering and hopefully get you generating revenue far quicker than you ever thought you could using brute force methods and just trying to write it out by hand. So here you go. Here's all the names of my course that I've created in less than 15 minutes. And I hope this video was helpful for you guys as you design the first draft of your courses. If you want to find out more, go to the comment section below where you can find the template. Inside is all the prompts that I've just shared with you and also some more tips and tricks for managing not just the actual generation of the course, but producing it and publishing it and marketing it to the wider world. Happy course creating and thank you for watching the video.